Is it on? Is it on, honey? Is this bitch recording? Who oh, what's up, YouTube land, Twitter land, Instagram land, Snapchat, Grind the Scruff, BGC, Jack, Facebook, Periscope, and last but not least, every single one of my bitches, Christian Mingle, and the lands all across the land. This is your girl, T.S. Madison, honey, and I'm coming to you loud, live, and always and forever in color from cracking the cold cases. Okay. Burr. Ladies and gentlemen, so I don't know you've been watching the show earlier tonight, honey, and you saw that my guest judge was none other than it's your boy Candy. And um Yes, and Candy's came here and we do thank Candy for coming here and being a, a great co host and special guest judge tonight or whatever. We had a good time today. But now I'm about to get on top of you and I'm about to crack a cold case with you, girl. I just want to say thank you for having me here. Let's crack it. Come on. You want to crack the call, guys? Okay? You was telling me something earlier before we were rudely interrupted. But I, was, I was like, you got to talk louder to the chemical. Okay, we'll see. The... What's up? I'm here. What's up? What you was telling me earlier? Telling I, we've me? talked from, it's late now. We've been talking all day, bro. So which one, what time are you talking about? No, girl, you were telling me something before we had to start the camera over. Thank you. Oh, well, I like that. No, no, T, because I don't know what T, because I don't know. We've been talking all day. No, I just want to take a moment to honestly say thank you so much for, like, always embracing me. You know, a lot of people don't know how to take me in the real world, but especially within the community. And one thing I can say with you, you've always. Every time. Been welcoming. Every time. You know, time. even when I didn't know what I was about to give next, this and that, you've always didn't make me feel judged. It always was this, hey, baby. And, and, and you know. Well, you're young. Yeah, but you know some people don't care about that. And you could have gave sets because you know you you what you didn't. And I just want to say thank you for even having me here and it not be no tea. Because you, girl, you know you could be in a situation where it's tea and it's like, uh. But I just want to say thank you, seriously. Oh, okay. I've well, thanked you before you have, and you on the welcome. phone, but I want yes. to say thank you publicly. Well, I'm like, glad you did that because like there yeah. are a lot of times that people people try to make all types of, of fucking stupid ass scenarios up about me because... You know, this is just the way they, they, the perception that they think they know of me and they have. But I'm glad that every time a person comes here, that you, you, y'all tell the truth on how I've treated, treated you all. I'm just the type of bitch who give a bitch her roses. And I'm going to say thank you. Like, I didn't have to say it on here, but because I always say it to you. And I don't want to think I'm preaching to the choir when I talk to you. But, like, no, she a real bitch. Like, she didn't show me mad love. Way before. Like, yeah. we were supposed to did this show way A minute ago, before. but I had to get some tea right. And me, maybe more personal, you know, you know how that go. Like, yeah. and even with you, like, we done had a little few talks about how you got to move in a certain situation when you kind of give a certain tea, which is kind of helped me. Like, no, like, I didn't get my tea right. But it, would be, it wouldn't be right as me being an older girl in this industry and not see the upcoming girl... Whether it's a girl or a, or, or or a guy or whatever it is, it's under in, in my. But community. even you helped me realize that no matter what, to them, it's a girl. Mm. To where I think sometimes me and my community we get so caught up in I didn't. I think sometimes we get more caught up in the, what is the label of it? Sometimes like you know, and girl, we don't have this conversation too. Like yes, we have, we have. They see one thing. We may look at it and see 50 different, but they see one thing. And when you get into a world when it's more they than you. Mm -hmm. Right. How you going to deal with that? Right. And Wait. we've talked deeply about that. So I just so, want to say thank you. I love you, bitch. I've been been watching you. I've been watching your elevation. I've been watching you grow. I've been watching this stuff. And, you know, and I, 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 I called you like, girl, what's the tea? What's the tea? Yeah. So before I know who you are. Okay. But for those people that are out there watching. Let's dig in and find out who is Candy and who is Jay Will. Two different people. Ah, oh. tell them you got to talk loud in this motherfucker. Um. <laughs> okay, so. Okay, uh, Jay Will is really, um, I would say probably Geppetto tease. Geppetto. Yeah. Like the puppet master. Yeah, that's cute. Uh-huh. But me, I'm who I am. And, you know, when I become what I give, it, it's that. And you become candy. And I stand behind everything and give. Like, I've had to fight very hard, you know, for what I choose to give as candy. 
and even Jay Will stands behind it. So it's like I'm not trans for a lot of people who think I am. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm I identify as what I identify as. Would I never you? say it. I never say it because I'm not in that fight, if that makes sense. Right. I'll say it. Don't worry. You're I'm not in an, you're not yeah, in like, an identity I fight. I don't want you to understand me. I'm an artist. I feel like when you look at the picture, you shouldn't care too much about who painted it. Can you appreciate it? Right. But, like I just that's why I, I try not to be too personal. But you know, Jay will give Geppetto teas. Would you say that you're androgynous? I feel like that is the closest word that it can explain me. Because one day a bitch will hop out, snap back Timberlands, and be comfortable as fuck. But then it's time to go out that night, and I want to put on my middle part bone straight 30 inch. Mm. And I'm comfortable. Like, why are you questioning me about how I feel? That's your fault, not me, because I'm having a ball. Oh, so, you, so basically you're kind of more so gender nonconforming. I don't pay attention to that. Right. I'm sorry, I don't. I and get it, it. It's for it because at one point you almost start to feel like I'm not gay enough, or I'm not straight enough because it's like I don't feel like whatever y'all try to put on me. I'm, huh? Like, I don't think about that when I wake up and I'm happy. Like, you know, I know I'm different. Fuck y'all who don't accept it. Like that's that. But it's just you know, sometimes it can get so technical to where it's like, wait, what are we talking about again? Mm. So what is the conversation like between the two of you, Candy and Jay Will? <laughs> What do you mean conversation? Bitch, you know we all talk to ourselves. So what is the because it's I ain't gonna be fake. I ain't gonna be fake. I, I see what you're saying. Um, okay, so okay, so one person. Uh-huh. We I'm a Scorpio. Oh. Yeah, that shit explains a lot. Oh. We already have split personalities. I'm a Scorpio. So, and Jay Will is the creative. He does all my wigs, my makeup, my, mm. my raps, etc. He's the brains behind it. But I just give him his courage where he needs it to continue to be fight. They can't hear you because that thing low. Um, okay. So I said again. <laughs> yes, bitch. Hello. Uh -huh. Okay, so you said what's the difference? What's the what is the conversation like between the two of you? Okay, so Jay Will is like the creator. Okay. Jay Will is the more rational one. He does hair, nails, makeup, write the raps, etc. More level headed. Um, but me, I give him his strength. So Jay, let me see your hands. So Jay Will is this. No, I'm popping this fuck now, so I got nail techs. But before it got to the point of me being popping, Jay Will did Jay nail. Will did this, this is new. Me me having nail techs is new. But Jay Will did everything. And this is candy. Oh. Uh. Oh. Uh. So I, so when I when I say what is the conversation like between the two, like, it's, it's, it's hot, mean, and cold. You know, Jay was the more rational one. Candy's the one that's like, nah, fuck that. I don't care what they say. I don't care how they feel. You walk in that building, you give them who the fuck you are. If they're uncomfortable, that's their fault. Ah, uh, so a conversation would be somewhat like, you know, bitch, if you're not feeling encouraged. Listen, Candy, bitch. If you don't feel like that you want to get up and do this shit today, don't fuck off like that. You know who the fuck you is. It's reversed. Oh. Uh. Way because Jay Will really don't give a fuck about nothing. I never wanted to be famous. How did a socialite become? How how did how did an anti-social person become a socialite? How did it happen? I was creative. I never chased fame. That's why a lot of girls can't take me because it's just like it's here, but that's not what I chased. But however, you know, I feel like Candy is a better expression of my creativity all together that just kind of makes sense like i'm comfortable with my skin i'm out as fuck i deal like like i said from the beginning like you know i know it can easily get like oh what's your category to a certain part of the world we all won mm -hmm. but if we want to break down the difference between the two you know it's really one person with just two different moods mm. okay so earlier in that same uh question answer you said that you know you didn't chase fame fame found you yeah so that brings me to the next question how did you get your start on the internet okay so i'm being rapping since i was like 14. can y'all hear me okay been rapping i'm just trying to make sure no. you see the bars see yeah okay cute, cute okay so i've been rapping since i was 14. this is before i had came out um before i even you know tapped into this cunt side of myself mm -hmm. um so rapping is kind of old to me um, you can but, rap though. You can spit some bars. Yeah, thank you. I, you can. I've, 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 I've actually watched a lot of your career, uh, lots online. You get what I'm saying? And like you were, you really, 
you and I hate to hear you say fuck that rap shit because I saw you taking it serious and you were really rapping. And the issue is because I still take it serious. I have an album coming in March, like I just on a more positive way. But the reason why I had to say that is because you know when you get to it. I'm sure you know what I'm giving. Like when you get to a certain point and you know your worth, but then you come towards an industry that, that doesn't know how to take you. I don't c- care that much to try to like fight all the time, if that makes sense. And we talked about this, you know, in, the, in, in the hindsight, like bitch, I know I can rap. I feel like I'm the hottest rap bitch ending in the game. Just asking me to rap, I'm gonna do my right sh- off the cuff. Yeah, I've seen you do it. But when I get into a room of people who are uncomfortable with me and you ask me to rap, but they don't even know how to take my skill because they're uncomfortable, it's like, wait, are we talking about rap or are we talking about... The way I look. Yeah. I Because mean, I do remember you being in and out of of drag. I, I remember you uh, rapping outside. That's really how I kind of started. Out of drag? Yeah. Yeah, I, I know. And then... Then you came and you, because you were Will J first. J Will. Well, J Will. You were mm-hmm. J Will first. And then I saw Candy pop up. And it's funny because Candy started very early. This started very early. It's just this is what they paid attention to. Mm. Like I did both. Like I was always very oh. gender fluid. Like I was like, like literally, I'm a cut and trade. Like don't meet me on a cut night and. The next morning, if you FaceTime me, I'm in a wig, be mad. Because, girl, like, I never told you I was for a trade. But then if you catch me in a wig one day, and then, like, you know, tomorrow I'm giving a trade, he said, that's your fault. Cause you I get it. Like, I'm just me. I'm creative. Like, you could check my rapping, my videos. I do my hair, my nails, my makeup, my art. Like, I'm creative. And what I choose to wake up and give, I just, I go with the flow. And people don't know how to take that. Ah, okay. So... Okay, so you've remixed many songs by many famous artists that have garnered millions, ladies and gentlemen, millions of views on the internet. Thank Which you. Which is your favorite? And have any of the artists ever reached out to you? <laughs> okay, so my favorite. Did I hit you off guard with that one? Girl, I'm like, um, okay, so favorite. <laughs> Could it be a top three? It could be top three. Is it personal with my fans like? Cause it's, Which one is your favorite artist? My per- personal favorite artist? So you said my favorite uh, artists or songs. Um, Which one is your favorite song? And have any of the artists, excuse me, uh, ever reached out to you? Due to contracts. I'm not, I, I can't be messy. Okay. I have some very close favorite ones. And, you know, I've. All I'll say is being consistent and continuing to fight. What you want will come around. Yes, a lot of people that I have, you know, remix I've came in path with. And, mm-hmm. you know, as an artist, you know, that's like always a fun moment to where, yes, like them artists have reached out, showed they love, you know. I don't want to get into names. You know how that kind of go. But one thing I will say is I don't remix nobody I don't like. Like, if I don't like your shit, I'm not hopping on it. Like, but, you know, I... You know, I've been fighting to the point to where it's like you can't ignore me. Like you, you, you don't have to follow, you don't have to comment, you don't have to hit like. But my, you see me, bitch. You see me, like you. You know how that what that gives. Like the girls, like sometimes the girls like to shade a girl, and it's like, girl. Oh, I know. Yeah, but I, I'm happy that I've been consistent enough to with my following, the repost, and like it's really y'all out there who support me. It gets to the point to where, girl, you can't shade mama who just posted this an hour ago because they didn't tagged you about eight hundred times. And it's been a few real bitches in the back who been like, hey, yo, I fuck with what you do. And there's been some who just continue to ignore. Have, have, that have shaded you. Mm. God, I want to go deep, but I know. I'll go wherever you want to go. I'm going to keep it. I'm, I'm going to be the cuter version of you, just so you know. But where you want to go? I mean, because deeper, I would like to go deeper. Like, I'd like to know who, who, who's throwing you shade. I can't give that. All right. I won't I won't, for, I won't force it. All, I can't give that. Because it don't mean they they'll make it bigger than what it really is. Like I don't give a fuck. Like I'm like when I meet bitches, they know who I am. Right. To where I be like, you gonna shade me now? That's weird. But Did it hurt you when they did it? Yeah, because I'm a fan at heart. And when you get into an arena and people get intimidated by you and your show, it kinda hurts. Like, oh wow, I 
I love you, boo, but you giving me a T and a lot of times I say this on camera. Gays, whether y'all listening or not, because you know, sometimes we don't like to listen to us. Like the bitches we live for don't like us. Hmm. That same bitch who your fave, she doesn't like you. I don't know. Hmm. So yes, it, it's her at points. I ain't gonna I'm I'm not gonna even be fake. Yeah. I know the feeling. Yeah, like bitch, I live for you down, bitch. And you giving me this? Hmm. And if I give anything more and I'm being too extra, but it's like, girl, you caught. Do you think it was because of, of you being gay or trans? Um, not trans or, or, or gender. You told me best, bitch, when you put a wig on. They can understand me when I walk in the room without a wig a little bit better. I told you that. A in, little in, bit better. In our private conversation. A little bit better. But when I come in like, yo, you in 20 inches. Yo, we me hang to your waistline. My hang to my niece, though. I'm Rapunzel, uncle, but you can be my niece, though. Please hope. When I get that, mm. they doing too much. Mm. You're doing too little, boo. But then it's like, oh. I love you, though, at the end of the day, bitch. You still do love them. Cause you, but yeah, you, it's like, it's no tea. You love her. their artistry. It's not them. It's, the, it's, and it's, it's just it's, the it's, issue is I love you boots, but then when I meet you, it's like this is not the same bitch I love. I'm glad I didn't give you that. I'm so glad. This is not the same bitch I love boots, but it is. I'm glad that when we met and when I reached out to you, you never we, gave me you. You, I think you kind of hinted. You didn't even hint at that direct tea, but you just gave real like, hey, Nisi Pool. It's gonna be some tea, boo, and you know. Yeah, it's I, told, I told you that it was gonna be that way. I said that to you, and I told. And when when I initially reached out to you, I told you like, girl, I be seeing you online. You eating the bitches up. Your numbers growing. This and the other. Capitalize, monetize. My thing. I always meet the girls with monetize. Did I not? Monetize. I was monetized when you said monetize. I'm like, okay. I know you was, but I wanted to make sure. You know, because you was confirming. You was like, hey, what did you give in? No, I ain't going to say you was. No, yeah, like, you got to make sure that no matter what, when you come into an industry who don't want you, ultimately, like. You got to get all you can get from it. I, I say that, but, like, I think me and you both can honestly say, and this is why bitches will never be able to take us. We've done things that girls ain't never did before. Oh. Like, if, if they did it, show me the link. If it's hot and it's current, that's one thing. But show me what she did that top what I gave. If you can give me the link to it to play the episode, then I'll understand. To where we can kind of talk different. A lot of people don't understand. They feel like, oh, you just know. Like, bitch, when you walk into certain arenas, that's like, why is this here? You're not even addressing us with respect. It's like, why is this? Let me shut up. Mm. Mm, Cause I know the language you're speaking. Those out there that are, that are not over on this side, they may not know the language you speak, but I know the language you're talking. And Believe it. And that's why I'm not. Let me just shut up. Huh. Now on your YouTube channel, you have shared many things with us, including vlogs with your boyfriend. Where is that relationship now? You a key bitch. You a cackle. <laughs> well, you I'm a journalist also. Give me face. Oh, girl, you gave me. Give me face on him. You love him? Is that is that just gonna be your answer? I love him. And I hate that I love him because I don't love people. But you love him. Yeah. He hates Atlanta. He hates it. He won't live. Does he live here? We moved out here together. Yes, because I remember when I contacted you and trying to get you on the show, you were telling me, honey, your boyfriend, this and the other, Woody Woof, and y'all was over there working on a shop, a hair shop together. All facts, we it was all facts. He just hates it out here. Like once we got settled in, and you know, I, I know you know you from somewhere else too. Like the girls move differently out here, just period. But then on top of that, like when you got a kind of a name, you got to watch out even more. Like it's hard for me to go anywhere and be like, oh, let me meet a friend. It's like, girl, that bitch does such and such and want to get a, a quick snap of you. And the reason why I loved him, love him, is because he's a regular ass guy. Like he don't give a fuck about. Like I was with him when I was filming Love and Hip Hop, Wild and Out, et cetera. He never cared about that. It's how you doing, et cetera, et cetera. But when you come out here when and so much energy is being drawn towards me that we both do not like, 
because is it negative energy not between us but just going out to the club is different and i know he just like to go out and have fun but we can't even have fun because so many people is coming up to me giving so much of a set or coming up to him it's just weird out here in atlanta and plus we don't you know eh, we're great i just I, I, we're great but it's just he doesn't like it out here so so the so the <sighs> thing is that you, y'all still together and you love him i'm always love him. i see it i always it. love him now i've seen headlines where it appears as if you and blame it on quay are enemies Mm-mm. Anything you want to clear up about that situation? Um, yes. First and foremost, I love mamas. I love bro. Um, it's a no T to what May people. May I ask, is he does he identify as in the under the umbra, under our umbrella or no? I was told no. Okay. And I respect what I'm told. So no. That's why I said respect, bro. There's no beef. There's no T like that. What I will say is once upon a time in my career in life, I did do a diss record towards him. And I, you know, I did a diss record because, you know, I just felt like I seen a resemblance in a lot of things that I was doing. That but was, did you factually have it? Yeah, like I was reached out to, I was asked, it was a lot of tea. Like I was reached out to and say, hey, could you make this wig for me, you know, by him? Mm. I don't want to be messy, but we hear cold no, cases. No, we not being messy, you know. You know, he reached out up. to me. He reached out to me like, hey, can you make this wig for me? I'm like, yeah, no worries. At least tag me, blah, blah, blah. He was like, no, I can't tag you. I got a contract with some other hair company. I'm like, okay. Bitch, how's that going to benefit me? Then he was like, okay, cute. Um, I wanted Wait, to, wait he, a minute. He originally hit me. <laughs> wait, no. Uh-uh. No, I'm going to keep going. He originally hit me. He was like, okay, I want a wig. I was on live. If we're going to break it down, it's how I go. I was on live. I'm like, oh, y'all, check out my new wig. And he was like, oh, he slid in my live. I was like, oh, my God, y'all, uh, I want a wig. We, we, we tried to get in. And he was like, oh, yeah, can you please make me a wig? I'm like, oh, yeah. I'm, mind you, at the time, I had 3,000 followers. So it's like, one, girls can never really compare me to a bitch who's been doing this so much longer than me. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I kind of started out newer. And at this point, I was coming on an uprise. He was already, you know. Mm-hmm. More ex- TT was already TT, right? So TT reached out to me and was like, "Hey, can you make this wig?" I was like, "Yeah, no worries. How do you want it?" At first, it was a Chinese bang. I'm like, "Okay, cute. Can you promote me? Tag me?" Oh no, I gotta get a hair contract. Well, I'm like, "What well, damn bitch?" Okay, well, fuck it. People tell me we should work together. Can we work together? Oh no, we can't. Is there any way you could do the pom poms how you do it? I'm like, "Well, bitch, pom poms is my signature look, especially at the time. It's on my album cover. That was my signature." The- Pom poms, my fans know. Then he went on my pom pom look, and I'm like, fuck, bitch. To where I was like, oh, King, we leads collab. Mama stopped responding, but I've never said this on air neither, not even the song. Little do mama know there was a hairstylist in my city, because I'm that bitch in my city. There was a hairstylist in my city who confirmed that he reached out to her after I didn't make the wig. He wanted to copy me and asked her, can you make that wig and send my picture? But when you start giving my teas, because I, 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 I may be nobody. I'm nobody. I, but there's a there's some differences. And the only reason why I made this at the time is because, you know. You felt disrespected. No, I didn't. I just felt copied. You have a certain formula, which is totally fine. It's working. It's amazing. I come along and I do certain things to make myself stand out. I didn't even know who you was at the time. And then, you know, I don't want to say you nibbled, but even in a conversation, he confirms that some of his close friends referred him to my page to say, you know, I'm dope. You know, because we've talked on the phone for over an hour. Like, we don't really have no tea like that. And I hate being a bitch who break down tea. Because when you break down tea, you always seem like the mad one. When I'm fine, he copied me. That was that. I made a diss. Lipton thief. Bitch who stole my tea. She a Lipton thief. And that's where I felt at the time. Right now, I have no tea with mamas. Like, so that's where y'all stand now. You don't got no tea. I have no tea with mamas. Me and mama, I mean, we done talked. We done key. We done. That's, I, honestly, like, that's a part of my past. Like, don't. You know what I mean? A lot of times people keep bringing it up. Like, bitch, I was like. I've been doing this shit for a minute, like four years ago. Like, you know, that's how I felt at that time, bitch. Like, before I dropped this shit, I sent it to the bitch. Hey, bitch, I'm about to post a diss about you. I don't like what you giving. I'm a real bitch. Yeah, like, my, like. And I, I did, and I honestly, what people don't know, I did reach out to you during that time, too. And I said to you, don't let that consume you. And I didn't. Remember. You did. I reached out to you at that time. Like, I, I gave it. You was like, cute. But just let it be after that. And I did. And that's, I, and that's why I haven't talked about it. Because it's been teased. It's been years later, Mama say. So it's, just, it's been a lot of teased. And I just like, I, when you know what's your path, we have different paths. And that's what I had to realize. You know what I mean? Like, there's people, like, 
there's so many girls who are inspired by you ready to walk in your shoes like you because you did some things that girls ain't never done before like girls can't really you know what i'm giving yeah, you know I what i mean and yeah. likewise on my end but i had to realize too when you know your walk and your path is different you can't get caught up in the next person path you just right. can't right because it's different and i just had to realize like you know we just give different teas you just did i just when i said disrespected because it is disrespectful for someone to try to ca call yeah. you and ask you for your shit so they can put on this and then did, did he did he even offer to pay you no it was just send so, me the wig so i could just look like you and being that you won't send it, I'm gonna just go try to recreate the look and polish up my look. Mm. It still don't work. Mm. I want you to know here that you don't sound like the bitter one. And I'm just I'm just trying to get a last hit, but I'm like, bitch, check the resume, bitch. I've been that bitch. Fuck a M. How active is them damn comments? <laughs> I mean, I, cause I get this. Dog, I go through the same kind of You shit. know the tea I'm giving. I'm just trying to give it as cute as I yeah, can, but be a real bitch. But bitches be out here with numbers copying like a motherfucker. Bitches be mad because they not them girls. Yes, you had two or three videos. Yes. Yes, mamas. Can't nobody take that from it. Your last year or two of teas. <laughs> I don't know. I get it. And I don't mean to, I don't want to, you know, it's just a cold case and a lot of people. No, I, I'm, I'm willing to go wherever. So I'm and I didn't, I, 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 that's the farthest I'm going to go with. I, I, I'm not going to. That's really the farthest it is. And I haven't spoken on this since I dropped the disc because it was like, once we talked, you know, there's no tea. Like mama's a fan of me. And that's why I got love for bro. Like bro even said, I'm a fan of yours. You know what I mean? I'm not even a messy person, but this mama's broke down. Like It just hurt you. The like only thing that hurt me was the simple fact of being compared to a person I've never tried to copy. Mm -hmm. Finally connecting with them and understanding how much of a fan they are of me. Yes. And how people around them told them to check me out. And I start to see a change. And he, he confirmed that directly. Expressing other Instagram socialites who was like, oh, you ain't never heard of Candy? And I'm like, oh, that's why you got a fur with a full face on. You ain't never wore a fur. I don't know. And then it's like, that's when I start to sound petty and childish. Because yeah. fans give, oh, no, but no. Yeah, if the you wanna... fans to do it. Now, but I if you want to say, the fans of two rival rival people do get in, in the midst of that shit. And they do keep the beef up. They keep that shit going. They, they, they To where it's that. not that deep, the bitch copied me, but I don't give a fuck. Like... I've moved on from that, but if you said a bitch and copy me, then you don't know royalty, and you're just calling with that bitch post. It's the numbers. You know, Mama's had the nerve to tell me that I should have never came out. That's why I'm not bigger. But Mama don't know that's what's gonna make me last. Wait, he it's said that because you came out, you're not bigger. Oh. He said you shouldn't have never came out. That's the reason why you're not flourishing the way you could be, and that's why. And I just looked at it because I, you don't understand, like, conforming to what they want only lasts for so long. Mm. Well, he's with Tyler Perry now, so he's doing really well for himself. <laughs> and he has what, Crab, crab Queens? Mm. I heard that when he went Mama's a Real Restaurant, she, I mean, give him a real mascot cunt. I mean, now I'm being messy at this point. I heard that was like, you can post it, but. I post shit too and don't own it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right, moving right along from that. <laughs> this is a quick promo, girl. <laughs> but now nah, I'm being messy. They don't hate me. <laughs> Where we going? Edit that out, please. All right. Because I used to work at restaurants. So I know I, um, Oliver, you, you, Oliver, you, she wanted to edit that part out. Are you sure? I really edit? don't care that much. I just don't think I'm being messy. I'm really keen at this point. Oh, well, don't edit it out, dude. <laughs> Leave it, I guess. I mean, I, it's not like I told a lie. If Mama could uh, show... Next question. All right, yes. next question. How did you get involved with Love & Hip Hop? They hit me. How was the experience for you? I like that they tried to showcase my story as pure as they could have, but I hate that with the way that company functions, it put me in positions that made me seem more bitter than what I really am. 
about I, things I don't care about. So I appreciate the opportunity. There's so many people who say, I thank them for it. And I don't want to shade that. But girl, that's not how that was supposed to go. I got on that telephone. I called you when that happened. That's not how that's supposed to go. I girl. got on that telephone. I called you when that. And I'm going to pour some tea. Pour it all. I don't pour too much tea. I got on that telephone. I called you. I said to you, I hope you make, I want you to make sure that Mona is not going to flip your storyline in a place where you, where you are not showcasing your skill. And that's the thing. That's where I personally can't say nothing too much because they, they always connected it to my music. I was always rapping. It was that's one thing I thank God yeah, for. Yeah, I wanted to make like, sure. Like no shade. That's why I'm like, let me give them they, they they credits too. Like they didn't have to overly have me perform. They didn't have to, I perform more than once on the season. Like, I feel like I'm the fucking only gay rapper on Love and Hip Hop that fucking raps. Can't nobody spit a fucking sixteen. We want to take these damn titles, but who the fuck is really rapping? And I thank them for showcasing that with me. But some of them scenarios probably wasn't the most flattering to who I, who I really am and what I really stand for. So my next question is, why are you not there anymore? Because I wanted to come here. I said, I'm not doing it. You turned it down? Yeah. Was it lucrative when you were doing it? <laughs> I already make my coin. Candy locks. I write. I write for people. I do hair. I do... I, I, Money wasn't the issue. At first, I did it because I'm like, oh, this is a great exposure. Like, I stepped away from money. Like, I was in the shop full time, so I stepped away from coin. The coin wasn't an issue. I just really didn't like where it took my artistry in the perception of the world. So I was like, I'd rather take a moment to just figure out what I want to do next. I'm young. I don't want to feel like I'm just in a rush to just do so much quick, like, some people don't do a year and they come back two, three years later. You know what I mean? That's nothing. Jocelyn just came back. You know what I mean? I just was like, I don't want to, after that first year, I just wanted a moment, like, just to, like, figure it out. So. And, and everybody gets excited when somebody from a place like that, like, love and hip hop get me up and woo dee woo. Yes. Everybody gets excited. And then everybody, when they get involved in it, they just be like, yeah. Yeah, and I've had to learn, don't get big and all right so quick. No matter what the name is, the brand, the trademark, just, you know. Hmm. Always make sure it's best for you in the long run. Because hmm. when they when you hot and current, that's all they care about at the time. But Been they'll, there. They'll fuck you up. Been the there. Run. So that's why I was like, let me just, I ain't did no show. I aired on two shows in one week. Two, the, tune in Monday, then tune in Friday. Like, oh, uh, But I was like, you know what? I see what that gave, and I'm appreciative. I'd rather take a second to like process that to make sure that I don't keep giving too many teas. And then after a while, it's like, girl, been there. We talked about this. And what did I tell you to do? Stand for something or you'll fall for anything. And I told you to make sure that you control your shit, your own shit, because once you leave that space, you still got to deal with you. I don't give a fuck who gives you no great opportunity. Once you leave that space, it's you still, still you. It's still your brand. And then I just, I, I think what really hurt me is when people would approach me about things that was not genuine that occurred, but they was connecting it to me. And as a, I was just like, okay, I just, I just, I just rather not do that. Like I just, all I want people to know is that bitch rap. She funny. She a key. Not no messy shit that really. So I said, nah. I get it. I, I totally get it. So, with that being said, how did you get involved with Wild and Out? They hit me too. They hit you too. Yeah. It was your skill. It was you. It was you rapping, yeah. Will J and Candy. It comedy. Was, I, was, I was big on comedy. comedy. My yeah. Pop, my Popeye your skits, skit was popping. That Popeye yeah. skit, bitch. Let me tell you something. That's when they, what you I did. will say, what when they hit me, I was really. This was before. I think. Yeah, this was before Love and Hip Hop phase because I had kind of took a hiatus. Like once I hit on TV, I damn near like isolated and didn't know how to take it. Prior to then, I was in a very comedic comedy high energy space to where I could see how they would hit me. Like I was always doing funny videos, the the Popeyes, the High Bobby, girl, that damn the Bobby, the work, that Bobby shit with the Bob, Bobby Christina. Ah, uh, yeah, that, uh, too soon, too soon, bitch. That could have taken me to the next level. That could. That am I hungry or am I hungry? Hungry. Mm -mm. That Bobby Christina one. Too soon. 
He was like, ha, ha, bitch, Bobby. I got a body. Bobby Brown, Bobby Brown, like Bobby Christina. Hi, Bobby. Bobby Brown, Bobby Christina. I went, uh, candy. Too soon, bitch. Bobby Brown, 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 it happens, yeah, but that that that's why they hit me, and, and it was fun. I, my interview was amazing. I, it was so short. I, I won it within the first three seconds of being in there. Most of that was experience of my life, but it was great. Let me, let me tell you something. I came there and saw you there. That's when I first saw you in person. I had been speaking to yeah, you Yeah, we've been keying forever. On the phone. We were, yeah, yeah. But that's the first time I had came and in saw a you flesh, in person. In a flesh. And I saw some things there that I never spoke about, but I saw it with my eyes. I felt in my spirit when I saw you that you were hurting a little bit. Mm -hmm. And I did not like the way, for me, this was just for me, this was my perception, I could have been wrong. I didn't like the way that you were being treated there. I, when I came there, I saw with my eyes that they were trying to really shade you there. I they saw this. With, me. I saw this with my eyes. I'm not there personally. I'm just. I'm not gonna be shady, bro. I saw it with my eyes, Candy, and I was just like, I kept because I kept seeing like, what's going on? I'm, I'm, I really wouldn't talk. I was just in my own world. I was just yes. And you had your liquor, and then when you talk, and you know when you get on that liquor, you 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 you. you Girl, you're trying to be shady at this point. My liquor. I had a drink there, but bitch, still. you was on that oil, bitch. I was. Uh, you was on that oil. You was too. I was definitely on that. Oh my girl, bitch, we were on our oil. Okay. But I did feel emotions in you. I felt emotions there because I saw them trying to give you a little shot. I saw that with my eyes, and I just was like, "Well, what the fuck is going on here?" Did my eyes lie to me? Um. No, I just, you know, I think this is what we kind of talked about. Is just, you know, I'm I'm happy that I was able to, you know, Tino Shea, do things that girls haven't done before yes. to get in positions to where it was like, oh, this is new, this is current, and it's talented, and it's refreshing. This is not necessarily tied to Wild and Out or Living Hip Hop, you know, but this is just how I feel in response to, you know, did you feel anything? And in that moment, I was just feeling unappreciated. Yeah. Not necessarily, it's just that moment, because I've been in situations so many times where it was like, I can out-rap everybody in the room, but y'all treat me like just a man in a wig. If y'all would just let me rap or let me be funny, we'll be in a different place, but. Yes, I felt yeah. all that. It's life. I felt all that in that space I did. I don't know what, and I told, I mean, we're not gonna go deep into that. But, it, we, but there, like the, the cast, everything was great, but it's just in that moment I seen you I was in my head as an artist, just to clear it up. Like in that moment, because like Nick was great, like B is great, B Simone's great. I love, you know, Justina. Like it's 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 love, but you know, it honestly and it, it it honestly like to clarify, it it really wasn't even the people y'all probably would know. It's damn near probably the homies or the certain other people who just don't know how to take us who got my mind fucked up at the moment. Because when I would go out there, you know, like all those moments are organic, but it's just everybody don't know how to take us. Mm. Everybody want to take us. And just you caught me in a moment and I was just dealing with that. But I felt it in my spirit. Yeah. I did. That was, it, it was so not hideable. I was, it's so funny because you know how happy I am to talk to you. I was just like, hey, you like, girl. I was just like. And I hugged you and we embraced and hugged. But I felt something in your spirit was wrong. I felt like that something was bothering you, like, hurt, like you. I did. And I just was like. When I get a chance, and when I called you on the phone after that, like later on, we key. We laughed, we laughed about it, and I just wanted to make sure then when I called you on the phone that I had my intuition was right. And we talked about I'm not going to share that here. Please. I'm not going to do that. But I felt what I felt, and I knew I was right. Yeah. Um, what are some of the obstacles that you faced as a media personality, and how have you overcame them? Um, I feel like I've touched on the, 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 the obstacles. 
I'm just that bitch and I know I'm that bitch and just whoever you are if you think you're that bitch don't ever forget it and just don't stop mm -hmm. that's I just don't stop yes you can't you just can't just the days you feel the weakest the days you want to cry that's the day, the day you get up and you push through mamas yes and you find that key when you think that key is not in you because she is like if you believe in the good if you believe in just God which is great mm. you have to believe in the negative and when God plays something in your life which is a calling yes. you have to understand there's going to be things that try to attack yes what god has placed in your life and you i'm not trying to preach on no tea no go ahead because this is i'm gonna be with you in a second yeah like when you realize if you realize okay i'm that bitch i'm great at this this is what i'm meant to do you have to understand that's like god sent that on you and when he sent that on you and you can accept that oh my god god gave me this talent and this dream and the blah 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 blah, blah. you have to understand that like you know what i mean there's gonna be things that try to attack it, that try to get in your head that try to discourage you there's gonna be moods and vibes that boo you came to pay attention to because you that bitch Fuck this moment. You're that bitch. And I, I, I'm human. You know, hence why I can honestly say I've been idle online. I, I, don't, I wake up paying it, but I've been recharging my batteries, mm -hmm. which is why I'm happy I'm here now because yes. I'm in a good space. But how I've been able to continue is like I'll even have my weeks. I'll have my time to where like I'll give a real isolated tea. But bitch, even in my isolated tea, it'd be random. Like, you know, be isolated, but you that bitch. So get ready get to it. get back to that so it's like finding my balance of like understanding what i'm fighting against but still continuing yes and this is the thing like i tell people all the time when god give you give you the vision nobody else might have seen what he put in your eyes Stop to asking see. them what do you think he and gave it to you he gave you the vision and no matter how how many times a light falls out of the ceiling on your show or how many times a motherfucking sound go out or how many times a motherfucker may walk out on you or how many times some shit may transpire when you you saw the vision with your eyes. You got to continue the journey. When you saw the end of the road, you have to continue with that journey. That is definitely the story of my And that's my what home. I did. And if people could check back to when Candy started, bitch, I had a fucking mustache. It was it was a mess. But I saw the vision from day one. Mm. And I continued to, like, you know, push forward. And that's even my music because I came out about four years ago. Like, I don't know what rapper that claims himself to represent the community that has done more than I have. Not in that in a, in a negative way. You know the shading girls, but if you go, I have an album that plays top forty, and that entire album is, is is speaking on very serious subjects for you know our community as myself before the wig kicked in. You know what I mean? I've done so many things that may have not been glorified on a large scale because y'all, you know, certain people don't know how to accept that there's some other shit going on in the world y'all probably don't understand. But I kept fighting. And here I am, I can't be ignored. And then once you get to that point, it's just, you know, that's why I took time to myself. It's okay. You know, you, you worked hard enough to get your point across and, you know, okay, now find what does this mean to you again? Because I was about to stop rapping two months ago. No. I was like, girl, I don't give a fuck. Like, I'm damn near rapping for a community who hate themselves. Hmm. You ain't got to tell me. I go to gay club and get the most shade. Huh. My God today. How am I late? But if I check your page, you follow me back. You fall, it say follow back. You fall. Yeah, I'm late. Yeah, I'm right now. You know the most things that are attacking me. Is Thank God this is cold cases. And I want to get this earlier, and I'm not even drinking right now, bitch. I'm damn near sober. But we talking about some real shit. Yeah, my 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 whole situation. Like I'm a I, I be under attack by my own my own skin color, my own. You know who wanna, who who worries about more? What I identify the most? My own community. Mm -hmm. Because when I step out, I'm at the end of the day, I'm a man in a wig. I'm gay to the world. They don't care about what I technically identify as. They don't care if I'm... I say this all the time to, to, to hetero people. It's only two things. Use a punk or a dyke. And they love dykes. Everything in between. I'm just being 2000. Right. You a punk or a dyke. They don't give a fuck about it. you a trans, you non binary, you gender non conforming, you fluid, this and other. It's bitches, you a punk or is you a dyke? Right. That's it. And we don't need that in our own community. We don't need that in our own. But that's a whole nother sermon. It's so funny because they used to shave me so much as they will. So which brings me to do you think that the, the end that the industry takes you serious? They have no choice in that one. They have no choice. Are you getting everything out of it that you wanted? I'm sticking in my my livelihood. 
and then some. So I got fans. I'm saving lives. My first video, I always say that I just w- sorry. I'm talking low. My first video, I always said that I just wanted to save lives, and I've had numbers of people, a lot of people, DM me and say I've affected them. You know, I'm at a point to where I just want to say, you know, do what I love doing, which is open up my mouth, rapping, being creative, and etc. And it's paying my bills and it's securing my future and my livelihood. So. You know, I had to realize, what are you in it for? Are you in it for approval of people who you really don't care about? Are you in it to enjoy it and love it and just have fun? And that's really what I'm in it for. Mm. And my last question to you, my good niece. Niece. Is what is next for Candy? Oh, my gosh, so much. My album is coming in March. Okay. I've been writing it for like the last year. Yeah, come on, cheer. My album is coming in March. Yes, yes. Um... Yo, like I've been, I, I feel like this is the most, like this is my favorite album, cause I took time with it. I feel like we all know I can rap, but this album speaks to me in my spirit, and it, it, when you hear it, you're gonna know, like okay. With the song that I heard, right? Yeah, that's one of the yeah, like I, it, it, it's personal, but it's in pocket, you know. Mm-hmm. It, 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 Very yeah, that's one of the songs, but it, it, it survived. So March, I'm actually dropping a double project, Jay Will and Candy. Oh. Oh. So Candy's gonna give E and it's gonna kinda of answer the question you asked, what's the difference? Candy's gonna give you candy, J Will's gonna give you J Will. Like don't think this totally different. Totally different. Totally different. But if you enjoy artistry and music, you'll love it. All right. Candy, I wanna say I love you. I love you very much. And when we first communicated I, I open my arms up with love and just coming in, making sure I don't give a fuck what none of y'all hoes say about me out there. Okay? I, making sure that even though you tell me now you're monetized and I'm glad it, but I was making sure that you were monetized. I made sure that I was... You would say things I was already doing, but you would give me tea like, no, like... Don't play with that T to where maybe, okay, like, okay, let me really be on it. You know what I mean? Like, to where it's like, you know, if anything, you just kind of let me know I was on the right path, but to, like, really be on it. Because, you know, sometimes when you're doing shit for the first time, it ain't no blueprint. Mm-mm. Like, ain't no blueprint. Like, if you could refer to me to the bitch who done gave what I gave it, it'd be easier for me to watch. But you kind of gave real, like, hey, while you figure out the blueprint, mamas, do certain T's, you know, and I thank you for that. That's why I opened this up with thanking you. Yeah. But people don't, people have a, a very, very evil disposition to me because maybe I'm not accepting of everybody or they have, a, 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 or, or they might be envious of me or they feel some deep, dark way about me because they just, it's just like you said earlier, they ain't did what I done did. And I hate when that happened. But you do know that I support my people in my community and yeah. even outside. A hundred percent. And when I got on that telephone, I wanted to just make sure with you that you were receiving the best for you and to also remind you that when it's all said and done, that you are good in your space because it's going to be your brand when it's finished. And I can honestly say right now I'm in the best space I've been in life in my career ever. I, I, I oh my god, I just want to make sure I'm being heard. Sorry, it wasn't moving up. I just want to say no. And and I've had to realize sometimes you have to cater to what people see and then cater to what's real. And I've been taking time to cater to what's real. And I'm in the best place I've ever been in my life and career. So that's why I'm really excited for people to see. Like, you know, I've done everything myself: edit the video, make the clothing, do the hair, do the nails, do the makeup on you know, very small budgets, you know, to be in a position to where I'm not only stable, I can fund the ideas that I see in my head. It's like, oh, I'm so excited. I could have been dropped, but I'm just dropping when it's right. You know, I don't know. It's just, it's, it's different now because I've took the time out to say, yay, you're famous. Yay, this is not. Get your shit right, boo. How your ducks in a row? Mm. Mm. Now, Candy, before we leave off the set, I want you to bust a verse for us, honey. Freestyle, kick a freestyle. Let me throw Ooh, some. Oh, I wish we wasn't being so deep. We was being deep, but we gotta be deep sometimes. Right? Yes, this is definitely this is what cracking the cold cases is about. Getting deep into the judge. Yeah, we were funny earlier. We laughed. I see what you're team. saying. We get we giving both ends of the spectrum. 
got deep into the judge. Ooh, no, now I, I want to see the judge's skills that the skill set. Bust a, bust a freestyle. Yeah. A bitch moved today and stepped her bands out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Pack MCM, but no man crush. Mm. Yeah. Bitches hating, I ain't giving them fuck. Cause the same bitches hating, be the president of your fan club. No, she don't follow, but stay on my gram though. What you call that? A motherfucking fan hoe. I'm trapping out the band though. Flat irons and shit. What you want? Bone straight, wine curls, or some crimps? I did wildin' out, cause I be wildin' out. And I'm a phone blowing up from the talent scouts. I did love and hip hop, but didn't make it fall, cause I'm a real rap bitch, not a reality star. Shotty from the West Coast. Check her Instagram. She got the best flow. She a badass bitch that has some testicles. But that's old news. On to the next, though. Flow hot as espresso. And I write tracks better than Metro. I will body your fave to that whack bitch. Let's go. Read the faking choppers. I ain't scared to let a tech blow. Never been a Scantron. I'm not the one to test, yo. Yeah, you from where you from? And that sound all good. But I got people that don't like your hood. And if I call them up, it will not go good. No, they're not mechanics, but they'll pop your hood. Candy lock so good. Make a bitch double back. Have you got a whiff of that? Brazil, your bundle type of crack? Mm. I mean, I could do this all day. That was good, bitch. Yeah, like. <laughs> that was good. I like that. Thank you. That was really good. Especially when you said bitches be hating, but the president of your fan club. No, she don't follow, but stay on your gram, though. What you call that? A motherfucking fan? fan y- oh, yes. You call that a motherfucking fan, yo? Okay, I, okay, we was late earlier. I don't want to seem like I'm not being late. No, right I, no, I'm, I, I'm, I, like I like this. Vibe. Okay, I'm just making sure. This is good for me. Yeah. This is good for this. Was good for me. Roti. And let me tell you something. You're always welcome here at the Queen Supreme Court. I love you so much. Hug my neck, bitch. I was about to say, bitch. I need a fucking hug at this point. Oh my God, I love you. And Y'all ladies and gentlemen, follow your bitch at. <laughs> At it's your boy Candy I T S Y A B O I K A N T I E. My music is available on iTunes. Go to www.thecandyshop.com. Copy that merch and everything else you need. I I and this has been cracking the cold cases with T.S. Madison and my uh. guest is your boy Candy. Deuces. Deuces.